Okay, what up? Okay, we got this really quick revision. This is a request um, from an educator. It's just, it's it's the Pico, uh, Pico Cowbell Analogger Board, but with stacky headers soldered on. Um, so, you know, it's in there. If you want to pick this up, again, this is a special request for an educator, but we'll have these in stock. Um, you know, we have to hand solder these, so they're more expensive than just if you got the headers and center of them on. But for some people, maybe they just want a plug and play solution. Yeah. And for the folks who notice our um, photography, we got all the new um, uh, women quarters. This has been happening for a while. I think it's been planned for like a decade. They were going to put women on quarters. This is founder of the Girl Scouts. This is Julia Gordon Lowe. We were getting, we have, thing you sign up for and they send you the quarter when it comes out but look at this she has like this cool look at this, this is a quarter isn't that cool she's got the logo all over there's it. a lot of hidden stories about things that you take for granted and it maybe it was founded by a woman and i'm not going to stop the new product show to talk about goldfish crackers i'm just going to say later on i will what's uh next lady okay next up is the star of the show which is the oh. ST Spin 220 Breakout. We've added a couple stepper motor drivers to the shop, um, and this is a nice little compact one. Um, like I guess said, uh, featuring the very tiny ST Spin 220. So this kind of joins the um, Allegro uh, A4988 and the Trinamic slash Maxim slash analog devices, Zaibatsu. Um, TMC. Gesundheit. <laughs> yeah, was it the TMC 2209? Um, so the A4988 is, you know, low cost and you, know, you need at least eight volts for your motor. Um, it's kind of the classic, the TMC 2209, um, you know, is, has your programmability and it has like super silent stepping. And the SD Spin 220 is um, kind of in, in the middle there. It's, it's inexpensive. It's small, and what's really nice is it's good for low voltage motors. So um, if you look on the back, uh, it can handle motors um, from two volts to 10 volts. So a lot of stepper drivers tend to start at five uh, and go up to like 20, 25, 28, 30 volts. Um, this one is one of the few that can go below five volts. So if you are um, running a stepper, a small stepper motor off of three volts um, and you want micro stepping support, this is a great little chip. Uh, it doesn't have like UART or SPI, but it does support up to 256 micro steps uh, per toggle of the direction and uh, step interface. So if you go to the overhead, I'll do this demo. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so just have a, I just have a little demo running here. And what's nice is it's quite, it's very quiet. Like you can't hear it, believe me. Um, there's a lot of stepper drivers that are very noisy, um, but it's doing micro stepping through here. And it's like just rotating once per. Um, I do have a bunch of the pins connected. Now, it will work if I just have um, the step and direction pins, but it won't micro, you know, it's not going to micro step the right rate anymore um, because it's confused. But you can um, let me reset it. Yeah, it can do, um, if, by default, it's set up to, I think, one eighth micro stepping. And if you don't want to like do any configuration um, with it with the pins, then that's the default. But if you want to have more micro steps, there is this MS1 and MS2 and reset pins. And when you bring it out a reset, the chip senses what the um, MS1, MS2 uh, step and direction pins are set to, and it uses those. Um, values to determine the micro steps. So there's like a table on the data sheet. We also have a library that makes it a little easier because it's, you know, extremely confusing um, to read the table. Mm -hmm. But by like toggling different, by setting different step and direction pins and the MS1, MS2 pin through reset or from power on, you can like use it, you know, if you want to use pull-ups, um, but if you want to have a dynamically changeable, you have to use a reset pin. And then you can um, change the micro steps. This is Unlike the Trinamic motors, where oftentimes you have to send an SPI UART command to get that one two fifty six step, so you know the, there's pros and cons to that. You know, if you want a simple, no complex library, very you know something that's easily portable, easily programmable in any um, programming language, go for it. Uh, this stepper motor driver also has a limit of about like one amp, one point three amps uh, per motor coil. 
We put a trimmer pot on there. Uh, you twist it, you can set the uh, current limit higher or lower, set it lower so if it stalls, you know, you don't take down your system. Um, set it higher if you just want more torque. And yeah, I mean, is that what I like about the stepper, you know, because we, you know, we actually uh, highlighted this a long time ago, we, we did a couple of projects with SD, is uh, inexpensive and low voltage. So if you're doing three or 3.7 volts, like you're running something off a LiPo, you don't want to boost a LiPo to run a motor like a set, you know, kind of a waste because um, the current can be quite high or it can be in idle mode. Um, so now you can run it directly off of a battery, a couple double A's, LiPo battery, et cetera. Um, very easily. So we got this breakout in the shop with terminal blocks ready to go. Let's do products.